Hi, I'm Krishani Rodrigo, a current PhD student at IBMP. My research is carried out under the supervision of Professor Kamani Tenipur and Emeritus Professor Eric Karuna Naik. This research is based on molecular medicine. In this study, we look into the relationship between breast cancer and an obesity-related hormone called lectin and some other related biomarkers. Also, we look into genetic changes in the lectin gene and the lectin receptor gene. To carry out this investigation, blood samples of patients with breast cancer with no family history is collected from National Cancer Institute Maharagama and the related biomarkers are compared with healthy age and BMI matched female controls from Sri Lankan Hi, population. I'm and I'm Anuka Mendes. We're both PhD students at IBM. My work is supervised by Professor Ira Kabu, Professor Kamini Tanukun from IBM and Professor Dilip De Silva, Department of Chemistry of the University of Colombo. My supervisor is from Professor Kamini Tanukun, Professor Ira Kabu, Professor Eric Karnanayaka from IBM and Professor Dilip De Silva, Department of Chemistry of the University of Colombo. The aim of our project is to discover anti-breast cancer drug. We have had the privilege to screen selected endemic medicinal plants of Sri Lanka. To do all our cell culture work, we have high quality, high safety cell culture lab. We have selected the most effective plant and now we're working towards the isolation of the active compound that could benefit breast cancer patients. Hi, I'm Rwandiran Singh from IBMBB, a PhD candidate. My project is based on the study of synthetic polymorphisms of the mitochondrial DNA of major ethnic groups in Sri Lanka. My project is supervised by Professor Tenlekorn and Professor Karnanayaka from IBMBB and Professor Maria Allen from Uppsala University. Mitochondria contains their own genetic material and it, it passes from generation to generation only through the mother. So it tells us a nice story about maternal ancestry. During my project, I have collected samples from six ethnic groups, including Sinhalese, Sri Lankan Tamils, Muslim, Malay, Indian Tamils, and Madda population. Then the DNA variations were identified by direct sequencing and PCR RFLP. These variations help us to analyze this phylogenetic relationship among these ethnic groups and also to determine their maternal genetic contribution to the present day. I am Sudeshini Hevage, a current PhD student at IBMBB. My research work is supervised by Professor Kamani Tenakon and Emeritus Professor Eric Karna Nayaka. This work is based on the common polymorphisms of H19 and IGF2 genes in a cohort of Sri Lankan mother newborn pairs and the associations of their genotypes to the birth weight. Uh, to extract the genomic DNA, we have collected the blood samples from Castle Street Hospital, Colombo. Maternal blood was collected from uh, singleton uncomplicated mothers before delivery and cord blood was collected from healthy newborns who born after 37 weeks of gestation. According to my results, I have found one common polymorphism of H19 gene is associated with a higher birth weight among the Sri Lankan population. Hi, I am Aisha Udari Pereira. I am a PhD student in IBMBB University of Colombo. My supervisors are Dr. Jagat Virasen from IBMBB and Dr. Ilanti Dasanayaka from University of Sri Jayadar. My research is based on molecular plant pathology and my research project is Molecular identification of Rastonia serenaceram in imported seed potatoes. The broad objective of the research project is the development of a molecular based method to identify the quarantine significant pathogen in imported seed potatoes. Hi, I'm Dulant Kaushalya Karna Ratna, uh, currently PhD student at IBMBB University of Colombo. Uh, my project supervisors are Professor uh, S.R. Veerakon and uh, Dr. Uh, Somaratna from Open University of Sri Lanka.
Kolkata and uh, Dr. Jagat Virasena from IBM UB University of Colombo. Uh, my project based on assessment of the genetic diversity and origin of the wheat rice populations found in Sri Lanka. Uh, it is very valuable project to identify uh, the origin and uh, distribution of wheat rice populations Hi, throughout the country. PhD students in IBM UB. I'm going to do research project based on dengue infection, severe dengue infection. My supervisors are Professor Sunil Premavansa from the Department of Zoology University of Colombo and Dr. Shiro Mahandamirti from IBMBB, Dr. Vaishan Silva from Genetic Research Institute and Dr. Gaini Premavansa from North Colombo DG Hospital Raga. In my research study, I'm going to focus on reactor nitrogen species and reactor oxygen species in severe dengue, in severe dengue patients and I want to see whether this uh, these indicators could be used as prognostic markers for senior dengue infection. And I'm also going to see the uh, endothelial dysfunction in senior dengue patients and genetic polymorphism in uh, selected enzyme, which is inducible nitric oxide synthase enzyme. So since dengue infection is a big problem, big issue in Sri Lanka, I hope my study would, uh, would make a real, really good benefit to Sri Lankan Hi, population. I'm I'm Narmada Fernando. We both are working on leptospirosis. She's mainly doing the immunodiagnosis part and I work on the pathogenesis. We both are in our final years of the PhDs and we work in IBMBB University of Colombo. Both of our research studies are under the supervision of Dr. Shiroma Handanente, IBMBB University of Colombo, Professor Seneca Rajbaksa, Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo, and Professor Sunil Premwansar from Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. I'm doing my research on identifying a best diagnostic test to diagnose leptospirosis and also studying the patterns of anti-leptospiral antibodies persistence among the leptospirosis patients. And for our study, we recruit patients from hospitals of Western province. My main focus on pathogenesis and it is mainly to understand the mechanisms which involve in leptospirosis patients to bring them into the severe stage and also to identify the biomarkers which we can use to pick up the patients who has high risk of progression to severity before they move into the life-threatening condition. We hope one day these results will find will help the clinicians to save more lives. I am Pradeepa Lianage, currently doing my PhD research at IBMBB under the supervision of Dr. Jagat Pirasena. My PhD research is on uh, morphological and molecular characterization of canker causing fungi of tea, and this research project is funded by the Tea Research Institute of Sri Lanka. The objectives of our research are to find out the canker causing fungi of tea using molecular methods. So far we have identified four different fungal species and we have also uh, designed specific primers to differentiate the fungal species and we believe that our findings would support immensely the growers to identify canker causing fungi in more rapid and accurate Hi, I'm Rukshala. A PhD student from IBM BB University of Colombo. My supervisors are uh, Dr. Shiroma Hadunetti from IBM BB University of Colombo and Professor Dilip De Silva from uh, Faculty of Science University of Colombo. So my uh, study is mainly focused on investigations on immunomodulatory and anti-allergic activity from Sri Lankan medicinal plant extracts. Uh, within that, to isolate active compounds which are capable of uh, inhibiting mast cell degranulation and killing uh, uh, activity of phagocytic uh, cells. So uh, these uh, compounds, natural compounds, basically natural compounds can be used for the development of innovative drugs uh, with less side effects. So my aim is to isolate active compounds, that means natural products, for the development of uh, new drugs. Uh, for uh, diseases like uh, in, uh, inflammatory and allergic diseases. Hello, I am Kisakarma Ratna, PhD student at IBMBB. My supervisors are Dr. Jagat Tirasena at IBMBB, Dr. K. M. Nevan at T Research Institute, Sri Lanka. My research is use SSR markers for genetic characterization and fingerprinting of recommended T cultivars and develop molecular marker to tag blister blight disease resistant. 
In tea breeding programs, they aim to improve agronomically important traits. Basically, conventional tea breeding is required 20 to 25 years to release new improved tea cultivars. The research outcome is aimed to decrease the time required for conventional tea breeding by introducing SSR based marker assisted tea breeding techniques. Hello, I'm Kanishka Senatilaka, PhD student at IBMBB and my project is supervised by Professor Karunanayaka from IBMBB, Professor Kamalite Nakon from IBMBB and Professor Dinidhi Silva from Science Faculty at the University of Colombo. And what we do in this lab is basically we isolate uh, active antifilarial compounds from Sri Lankan medicinal plants and afterwards we do the structural sedation of these active compounds and uh, then we try to understand the mechanism by which these uh, antifilarial compounds might act on the filarial worms for example by uh, different mechanisms like uh, apoptotic mechanisms and oxidative stress mechanisms my project will help in identifying novel antifilarial compounds which is effective against lymphatic polarisis the treatments for lymphatic polarisis is currently held back by the absence of uh, effective and My name drugs. is Daniel Chukumo Bimuoku. I am from Nigeria. I am pursuing an MSc degree here in IBM BB in Molecular Life Sciences. Uh, I am a recipient of the prestigious Government of Sri Lanka Presidential Scholarship and uh, that has offered me the opportunity to be the one of the pioneer uh, international students here in this hosted by this institute so I think it's it's a great experience for me more so um, being under the tutelage of well-seasoned professionals who know their onions in the fields here and um, being a privileged to be exposed to the world-class facilities in this place and uh, the cutting-edge technologies um, the international symposia and regular workshops and trainings in the field uh, I must say it's I feel at home here. Yeah. It just seems the course and the program is custom made to suit my dreams and aspirations in life and career. Coupled with the the ambience of the atmosphere, you know, the environment and the well structured system. And of course the intellectual stimulating um, interactions with several other students and researchers from diverse backgrounds, I must say it has offered me a lot. And I believe that after completing my program here, I'll be better equipped to get into the world of science to make my mark in the academia and of course in research. So IBM BB is, uh, is a destination port for anybody who really is serious about making an impact in, in the world of science. And uh, for that, I'm very grateful to IBM BB and to the founding director, Professor Karuna Nayaki, and to the other faculty for giving us this opportunity and me especially i am i am very grateful and it's a wonderful experience cheers hi my name is joanne kotalavale and i'm currently registered as a master's student in the molecular life sciences degree at the institute of biochemistry molecular biology and biotechnology i enrolled in the master's program in 2013 I'm, and i'm currently in the third and final semester of my degree uh, with regards to um, how I came to know about IBM BB was through the Molecular Technique Certificate course, which was really my first introduction. And I was very impressed with uh, the facilities and with, with the staff and the level, of, um, the level of knowledge that was dissipated to us during that program. And that was what motivated me to apply for a master's in 2013. Um, with regards to the coursework, it's definitely a challenging degree, but in a good way. It helps uh, students to definitely identify strengths and weaknesses, and I know I have been able to develop independent learning techniques, which is very useful for me now that I'm in the research component of my degree. When it comes to research, I have been able to, through the partnerships that IBM BB has established with other research institutes, I've been able to meet with other scientists and work alongside them and develop uh, my skills further. And this, this is really invaluable, especially um, as an aspiring scientist and as an aspiring researcher. IBM BB has definitely given me the right foundation to build up a future career in this field of science, and I'm grateful to IBM BB to the wonderful faculty and also the staff here 
who, is, who are immensely supportive and very friendly and um, they really do work together with you to develop into a better scientist. Thank you IBM BB for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to be a student here and to be a part of IBM BB.